Hi everybody, welcome to Agamath. This is Rakesh. Today we are going to learn a new method to find the zeros for the quadratic polynomial. Generally, we know four methods. They are like one is factorization method, and next completing square method, and then we have a formula method, and then is graphical representation method. But today we are going to learn a new method which was discovered by Professor Posh and Lowe. Before you watch the video, subscribe it, click on the bell icon for more notifications. Hi, before going to learn a new method, first of all, let us uh, recall the methods what we have learned before. One of them is factorization method. Now I would like to take one quadratic polynomial that is, uh, yeah, that is uh, x square minus 5x plus 6. So if I would like to find the zeros of this quadratic polynomial, like we use a factorization method, right? So that 1 into 6 is 6. So we just write the, what are the uh, product, uh, that means write the 6 into product as 2 into 3 and 1 into 6. And seeing that satisfying this, the sum should be minus 5. Okay, so if I take that is x square minus 2x minus 3x plus 6 so this method even call as a splitting method right so you now I would like to take so to find the zeros that it will be taken equal to 0 right so x is common here so x of uh, x minus 2 minus 3 of uh, x uh, minus into plus is minus so here this is 2 equals to 0 in this case uh, x minus 2 is common so as x minus 2 is common then is uh, x minus 3 is left so that is equals to 0 so x minus 2 equals to 0 or x minus 3 equals to 0 so therefore x equals to 2 or 3 so this method is a factorization method but there are some uh, other quadratic polynomials where we cannot uh, uh, use uh, like factorization method if I take example like x square plus x minus 3. So here we cannot uh, solve this uh, quadratic polynomial using the factorization method, right? So then how? How to find the zeros of this quadratic polynomial? We have a method like completing square method, right? So completing square method. So most of the students feel in uh, difficult in understanding this even we have one other is formula method maybe it is easy but we need more calculation formula method the formula is what there is a uh, where x is equals to minus b plus or minus under root b square minus 4ac over 2a right this is a formula method where we uh, substitute the values and do even we need more uh, calculation here and the next another method we have is a graph representation so using the graph representation so these are the three methods which we use to find the zeros of the quadratic polynomial even sometimes uh, we feel uh, difficult in understanding but uh, now here we are going to learn a new method which was introduced by sorry discovered by the professor Po Shen Lau, he is associate professor of mathematics at Carnegie Mellon University. So how do we how do we find zeros without using these methods? Let us see now. And here, if you uh, if uh, here I have taken a, this is a quadratic this is a parabola, uh, which is a graphical representation of the quadratic polynomial like x square x square plus x minus 3 so to find the zeros I have taken equal to 0 so if you see here the x intercepts are said to be the zeros of the quadratic polynomial even we are not exactly known that where right so here it is one is here this is x intercept and another is here right so these are the two zeros where we can uh, find uh, using this graphical representation but if you observe here uh, right so now then uh, 
to know exact values of these uh, zeros right so this method now which we are going to learn was introduced by uh, professor Po Shen Lo okay now listen carefully so first if we take an axis of a symmetry of a parabola how does how does it pass from this parabola means we're nothing that oh, here I'm going to show you the figure find now how this point is exactly at equal distance uh, from the zeros so it's nothing that we can uh, say that this is average so what is average means sum of the uh, zeros so what is this uh, means let us take the average of average of sum of the zeros average of sum of the zeros so what is the average of the sum of the zeros we know that sum of the zeros is like minus b by a it means minus 1 mm, so minus b by a is nothing that minus 1 average is nothing that here this 0 and this is 1 0 so that is by 2 so this is the average means this point we can consider as some at minus 1 by 2 and let us so from here to here the distance is like this is minus 1 by 2 plus z and then from here to here it is like a minus 1 by 2 minus z so these are the two distance means let's take that so that this is one zero that is minus one by two minus z and this is another zero that minus one by two plus z so these are the two zeros now it means uh, like uh, alpha right uh, alpha is equals to minus one by two plus z and the beta is equals to minus one by two minus z so these are the two zeros now let us think so as this is minus 1 by 2 minus z and this is a plus z so these are the two zeros now uh, if if we take uh, like a product of the zeros now so what is the product of the zeros product of the zeros right we know that product of the zeros like uh, product of the zeros product of the zeros is nothing that c by a it means according to the taken polynomial that is x squared plus x minus 3 in this that is minus 3 by 1 is nothing that minus 3 so here what are the zeros we have one is a uh, minus 1 by 2 plus z and another is minus 1 by 2 minus z so that is equals to minus 3 right so now if you do the product of these two we get uh, we have to get minus 3 then here we have to simplify then how to simplify this just please make a note also uh, okay we'll go to the next window to solve this right here now if you simplify this if you observe this uh, is in the form of like a a square minus b square is equals to a minus b of a plus b it means this is a minus b of a plus b it is nothing that a square minus b square it means this i can write it as a minus 1 by 2 whole square this is a square minus b square is equals to minus 3 now if you simplify this what do we get so that is a uh, 1 by 4 minus z square is equals to minus 3 right uh, so now minus z square is equals to minus 3 minus 1 by 4 so when you simplify this more what you get is uh, z is equals to z is equals to like uh, minus under root of under root of minus 13 by 4 so this is z value and we know what one of the zeros like alpha is equals to what do we have minus 1 by 2 minus z and beta is equals to minus 1 by 2 plus z so here we got just simplify the values now so let us see here so just simplify now here alpha equals to minus 1 by 2 minus z is nothing that minus under root of minus 13 by 4 where beta equals to minus 1 by 2 plus 
okay of minus under root of minus 13 by 4 even if you simplify more you get like my uh, all right uh, that is uh, minus 1 by 2 minus into minus is plus under root of minus 13 by 4 and beta equals to minus 1 by 2 minus under root of minus 13 by 4 so here these are the uh, two zeros where we find even without using the quadratic formula like a, uh, even uh, like completing square method formula method or using the graph so one more example i would like to explain to you to have a better understanding let us see then now let us see one more uh, example here like let me take a polynomial that is a uh, x square x square plus 3x minus 8 right so what are the steps to be followed let's once again that is step one the step one what we do is average of average of sum of the zeros average of the sum of the zeros so what is the sum of the zeros that is minus 3 by a is nothing but minus 3 and zero average is nothing but by 2 because we have the two zeros for the quadratic polynomial so that is here it is minus 3 by 2 right now step 2 what do we do in this step 2 step 2 is very simple that in the step 2 that what we do is let uh, alpha is equals to okay minus 3 by 2 plus k where beta is equals to minus 3 by 2 minus k but k is a sum at equal distance from this average of the sum of the zeros right now let us see what is step 3 here so step 3 the step 3 is nothing that product that is a step 3 is product of uh, zeros right so here product of the zeros step 3 is about the product of the zeros so that is uh, product of these zeros here the zeros are alpha and beta so that product of the zeros like uh, minus 3 by 2 plus k of minus 3 by 2 minus k that's equals to product of the zeros is minus 8 by 1 is nothing that minus 8 so that is c by a is nothing that minus 8 right now let us simplify this product of the zeros okay so here we have minus 3 by 2 plus k and minus 3 by 2 minus k it is in the form of a plus b of a minus b so that is uh, a square minus b square is equals to minus 8 right so if you more simplify more that is uh, this becomes 9 by 4 minus k square is equals to minus 8 so what uh, it is like minus k square is equals to minus 8 minus 9 by 4 right so if we simplify more that is a uh, k square is equals to okay k square equals to it is uh, 41 by 4 finally we can say that k is equals to under root of 41 by 4 so this is the value of k so what we have taken that is alpha and beta before itself here if you observe that right so here alpha is equals to alpha equals to means one of the zero is minus 3 by 2 plus under root of 41 by 4 and beta equals to minus 3 by 2 minus under root of 41 by 4 so here these are the two zeros that we find now even without using the quadratic uh, like factorization method or uh, completing square method or graph method or using the formula 
there this is the easiest way so i hope you all understood well and for any more queries please give us mail at askagamath@gmail.com thank you